a ship full of goods what 230 iron and 185 tobacco come on king what's that i can give you more than that Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Deep Vike and welcome to another episode of my Let's Play Patron series. Right, so we are approaching our goal of 500 people and researching the whole research tree. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Tune in for the next episode. Nah, it's not like that. Okay, so uh, let's keep an eye out on food. Coal is okay. Firewood is okay. Herbs is okay. Peasant luxury, no problem. Labor luxury, no problem. Merchant luxury, eh, could be better. And gentry. Gentry could be better too. Right. Uh, we are researching something. You know what? Let's check production for... What was it? Fine garments? Where do we get that? Where can we produce fine garments? Is it at the... Uh, okay, tailor's shop. Do we have a tailor's shop? I think we do. We should have a tailor's shop. We actually don't have a tailor's shop. My, that's unheard of. How can that be? We must fix the problem immediately. And where should we put it? Should we put it in the production zone? Or should we find a place for it somewhere around here? Yeah, that's good. I'm curious as to how I why I didn't build a tailor shop before. Maybe because I thought we already had it. I don't know. Because I think uh, I want to sell fine garments. It must be expensive. You know what? Let's check it out. Okay, so yeah. Fine garments, they're sold for eight. Wow, eight. So we're gonna set this at 200, and when we have over 200, we are going to export. Or maybe leave it at 1000 just to be safe. Yeah, sure, there we go. Now, back to the tailor thingy. Okay, you know what? I'm a bit lost. Okay, there we go. Tailor's shop. Um. Oh, so this is the clothes shop and the tailor's shop is different. Okay, so. So, for producing fine garments, we're gonna need textile. Textile. Oh my god, not not this again. Textile, wool, and tools. So, we're gonna check and see if we have enough wool. If we have enough textile. And I don't think tools are gonna be a problem. Okay, food restriction is researched. Luxury budgeting is on the way. Food is decent, not that much, not as much as I thought and hoped. So obviously we're gonna build more farms. Oh uh, no, not orchards, crop fields. There we go, 12 by 12 over here and a 12 by 12 over here and another 12 by 12 here and should we build one over here too i think so it's gonna be 100 percent fertility it's gonna be at 98 percent which is still okay by me
Right, so going back at the tailor's shop, there's not much else we can do. Like I said, go and check out textile production. Let's see how much textile we got. Textile, we got 1,359. And this guy needs, uh, what was it? 588 per year. So I think that's uh, that will cover it. And let's check wool. Wool is 580, so it looks like we're gonna have to build another, what is it called? Ranch, okay, building another ranch. Why did I build orchards here? Didn't I say I don't want to build orchards? And I, then I just built them anyways. Good lad, good lad. Right, so crop fields. King sends his regards. Sire, the king has sent over a ship full of goods for our fair city. He is clearly pleased with us. Most excellent. Please notify the king that we accept the gift. A ship full of goods? What, 230 iron and 185 tobacco? Come on, king, what's that? I can give you more than that. Jesus. That's lame. Okay, so we're gonna click on oats here and then we are going to click on mm, Pumpkins and then we are going to get some uh, peppers. Why not? And then we are going to get some uh, Beetroot. No, not beetroot. Leek. No, that's not a lot of food. Yeah, pumpkins. There we go. Wow, so uh, monthly used coins is 11,000, but I think that's because are these are uh, so expensive. It's because I built the crop fields and some other stuff, but I don't think the crop fields are so expensive. That expensive, I mean. So we're gonna have to keep an eye out on our money. Coal is okay. We could set coal. We used in heating too. Clay is okay, although I think we should produce a bit more clay. Just a tad bit more clay would be okay. Okay, so we've started the production of fine garments and we should, like I said, sell some. We should sell when we have over 500 because we don't have a lot of gentry here. Fine garments. And there we go. You know what? I should check if all the production buildings are upgraded. For example, why isn't this hunting lodge upgraded? in skinning like what's 
What's the harm in that? Yeah, there was shelter. Just kidding. There we go. Okay, hunting lodge, and we have the three hunting lodges that are only for pests. We got the forester's hut. There we go. We found this one that wasn't upgraded at all. So checking if your buildings are upgraded from time to time using the production tab, the buildings tab. Seems like a good idea. Sawmill is okay. Herbalist's hut. Okay, what we got here? Herbalist's hut. Uh, yeah, we could use two more herbalists because we sell this. Quarry is okay. Fisherman's hut. Okay. Iron mine. Coal mine. Toolsmith. Mushroom farm. We don't have a mushroom farm. Clothes shop. Play pit, pottery workshop, apiary, okay. Uh, yeah, apiary, it's about the expansion, so we're not gonna expand just to expand. We're gonna do that uh, once we need the actual wax. We could produce some more uh, decorations, why not? There we go. Charcoal burner, we don't have that. Windmill bakery, we don't have a bakery, we don't have a windmill. We got an oil mill. And for now, uh, the production is good. We have distilleries. We should build a, a jewelry, a tailor, sh nah, a jewelry store. We don't have a gold mine. Housing shortage. Okay, so let's slow down the game a bit. We should build a gold mine too and a mint. Yeah, I think we're gonna start with that. But before that, let's build some more houses. Brick mansions. So I can't remember why I left this place over here empty. But you know, I'm gonna build some large plazas here like make this make this place a little a bit more beautiful like having this nice plaza in front of the patron's mansion why not and then houses will start There we go, I tried something different. Let's see if it will look okay. So do we have any room to place a new house over here? Yeah, we're gonna... We, we could place a brick mansion right here. That's not a problem. Food, again, not all that great. But on the other hand, uh, last year or a couple of years ago, it was 14 down to 13,000 actually in March, April. So now it's actually decent. But again, we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Coin is okay. Yeah, looks like we're doing great actually. Okay, let's slow down the game a bit and build a what's it called? What was it called? A gold mine. Produces gold ore. Efficiency depends on the ore richness in the ground. Right. 
So this is the gold mine. And for starters, let's just build the one and see what it's all about. And then we'll start to exploit once we figure out how the gold mining, gold mining industry works. <clears throat> and I think only gentry can be uh, gold miners. I don't know, maybe. Let's check what else we got. I think coupled with the uh, gold mine, the mint should be. There we go. Produces coins from gold. Coal and gold. Upkeep. Sure. Let's build a mint right next to it. There we go. Okay, so we got a gold mine. It needs two miner. It starts off with two miners. And we got the expansion upgrade, the durable tools upgrade, and the prospector upgrade. And we are going to do all three of them, obviously. And that's about it. So one gold mine produces 935 gold per year in a 130% efficiency zone. And let's check out how many mints we will need in order to process all this gold. In the meantime, let's check coal for production only. And let's take a look at the houses again and upgrade, insulate all the houses that are not insulated. And there we go. That's about it. That was smooth. I like it when the building tab isn't bugging. Okay, so let's upgrade some more. You know what? I'm not even looking at the upgrades. Maybe I should just so I know what's up. Advanced goods. Enacting the policy increases the production of bakeries, distilleries, candle shops, windmills, and brickworks. Yeah, I think I should do that too. I should enact one of those policies. Okay, we got a mint. And upgrades are expansion, furnace, and reusable molds. And again, obviously, we are going to upgrade all of them. And apparently you need about, well, five. Is it five? Yeah, almost five. Four and a half or something like that mints to process all the gold produced in just one gold mine. Okay. Gain favor with the Holy Church. Church dignitaries are offering us a way to gain some favor with them. Though that's really just a way for them to tell us what they want done. Indeed, fine. Send them what they want. Let's do them a favor. Wow, gentry religion isn't all that great, so we're not going to do that. I'm not interested in doing them any favors. Okay, so it looks like it is time to pest on field. What? Don't I have? Okay. Damn it. Hunting lodge. There we go. So is this uh, crop fuel going to produce anything? Oh, you can exterminate. I thought, wow. <laughs> I've been doing this uh, wrong for the whole time. You can actually exterminate the, uh, the pests from the field. But I thought the game tip told us you have to uh, erase the elite crop fuel, whatever, before the pests spread. Maybe I read it wrong. Now that I think about it, it's a bit weird that you had to delete the crop field or the orchard. 
Well, this is yeah, it's pretty good looking, but not that great. Okay, back to more researches, cemetery. And like I said, let's take a look at uh, religion, was it? Yeah, religion. Let's build a church. Although I'm not too fond of building churches. Oh, and we also should build the, uh, what was it called? Peasant's Guild House. I feel like it should be built in the original neighborhood, but it looks like we don't have enough room there, so... Ah. I think this is where we will build the peasant guild house. By the bridge, why not? Yeah, there we go. It's good. And I think a road sign is in order. No, a road sign, I said. There we go. And let's mine this. Why not? So it won't bother us anymore. Yeah, we definitely, definitely should build more mints. Okay, gold mine, mint, there it is. There we go, there we have it, the mint. What else? You know what? I feel like I can't stop playing this game unless I've built all the buildings, all the production buildings. I've used all the uh, commodities, for example, medicine. I still don't have medicine and I don't know how to produce medicine. And it also looks like we have some food issues. Right. So next time we're going to take a look at that. We're going to take a look at medicine. We're going to uh, check and see if coins will go up because of the mint. And we're going to check and see everything else that we have missed because we're almost done with the researches. Not that many left. And we are almost at 500 population. Right, so that's it for this episode. Be sure to stick around for the next one. My name is Deep Vike. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you next time.